people who rise by lifting others are the people you should surround yourself with um, for me I'm graced with friends and family that really push me to pursue the work I'm doing and at the end of the day we all get lazy and we all want to give up on occasions and sometimes it's you think that when you want to produce a photo and put it on Instagram you don't think it's going to be the best work but for me I think I've learned over a long period of time that you really just have to create work that you're not proud of to get to the stage where everything you create becomes your pride and joy. My name is Matthew Birdie and I'm a creator. I think, unlike most people, when, when I grew up I always thought I fitted the mold of having a 9 to 5 job. I always thought that my life would always revolve around having the same repetitive motion and doing things that I just accepted came to me. So actually when it came to doing photography I was completely new to the whole concept of being creative and actually understanding the fact that I could make a big influence through my work. Um, it wasn't really a what inspires me, it was a who inspires me. Believe it or not, when I was, I think, 18, I was going into my first year of university, um, I didn't get accepted into any degrees. My marks weren't good enough and I honestly thought I had enough credits to move into any uh, degree I wanted to. And when I got rejected, I was just searching for a car actually. Um, a Land Rover and when I was searching for it I came across a video by Ben Brown and he's a content creator from uh, Great Britain and he's also stays in South Africa and him and his friend Dan were riding behind a Land Rover on a surfboard and it was the most eye-opening thing for me because coming from a conservative household I always thought that um, getting out and doing this thing as a job was so unknown to me and then I see this video and I was like, I was hooked. What inspires me today is the fact that my photography can make a difference. Um, I started opening myself up to the fact that um, these pressing matters in our society became more relevant to me such as depression and um, loveless relationships and it really hit home when uh, a lot of my friends were affected by some of these things and I started writing about it and I started using them as captions under my photos and slowly but surely I started getting feedback from people saying that they love my work and that it really made a difference to their day because they thought they weren't alone in the situation and from then on I've just been writing um, probably about 100 of these already and um, from that I've gained a kind of respect and understanding of people's emotions and really that is at the end of the day the thing that drives me most is the fact that I could ultimately have a difference in people's lives through my photos and through my captions. How I describe my visual style is when I did get accepted into a university it was actually a school of photography and going there they were so um, persistent on using artificial lighting and for me I, I was very lazy so I decided that I'm going to use natural lighting to my best of my ability so other than that I've only used natural lighting and my visual style already is created from the landscapes around me and living in Cape Town you have an abundance of mountains uh, lakes rivers and forests that really are emphasized by the models I choose to work in each landscape. My editing style mainly works from using film presets and it gives a more natural look to what we see. So when we take photos we're so prone on hoping the photos are going to come out exactly how we saw it on the day and I've never been able to find a way of conveying that feeling because the colors are completely different on each camera. So the film presets really stand out for me the most because it gives the closest lifelike look to my photos. 
So when I first started, I started using a Nikon D5100 with a kit lens and that was really the beginning, beginning of my photography career. Um, from then on, I moved into a, 7, a Canon 7D Mark II with a 24 to 70 lens, which is my most highly recommended lens, just because it gives me the versatility for the perfect portraits I want to use. And for my crop frame camera, it gives me the sense of wide angle as well as a, a nice crop to perfectly portray my models from the waist up. For editing I use my MacBook Pro. It's currently no matter how hard I try I keep running out of space and the thing is I make it work. I turn my computer on and off and somehow I can edit a few photos and from then on that's how that's pretty much my workflow. I mainly edit on Adobe Lightroom um, for all my photos and then I use Visco Cam on the phone if I ever take things on my phone. I recently invested in a 50mm um, STM 1.8 and um, I bought it because it has the lowest aperture and I needed more low lights um, shooting lenses and unfortunately having a crop frame camera um, it's quite zoomed in so I have to stand quite far away from my subjects which presents its own challenges in itself but for now I still use my 24 to 70. When shooting portraits I think the biggest key is to have a confident model and in the way I shoot, I always make sure that I'm more friends instead of forcefully going to get the photos itself. I tend to focus away from cropping people at their waistline. Um, if a girl is more tall, uh, a wider framing would be better. And for shorter people, I tend to shoot them a slightly lower um, to make them look taller than they actually are. Any advice I would give to someone first starting out and wanting to get into portraiture or landscape photography is really find, surround yourself with people that are going to affect you positively and are going to drive you to produce the work you want to. Um, at the end of the day, we all tend to procrastinate and we find it easy to just sit at home instead of going to capture a sunset. And like for me, when I first started out, I was very afraid to talk to girls, as we all are. And just getting out there and working with models on a regular basis just made me so much more confident and happy in myself. Um, and that affected my real world experience because I became a lot more happy and confident talking to other people. People who rise by lifting others are the people you should surround yourself with. Um, for me, I'm graced with friends and family that really push me to pursue the work I'm doing. And at the end of the day, we all get lazy and we all want to give up on occasions. And sometimes it's, you think that when you want to produce a photo and put it on Instagram, you don't think it's going to be the best work but for me I think I've learned over a long period of time that you really just have to create work that you're not proud of to get to the stage where everything you create becomes your pride and joy.